Want some bite size? Yum! Hi, this is Mr. Dave with the National Museum of Nuclear Science and History. And I'm Jennifer. And we're here to show you another fun experiment. Uh, this is a very easy one that deals with air pressure. Uh, this and is potatoes. And potatoes. Potatoes. Yeah. So this one here is very simple. We've got two demonstrations total that we're going to show you okay. uh, that both involve air pressure. Cool. Now this one here is the one you are going to do on KRQE. Right. Uh, and so it's a fun, quick one. Uh, it's on the demonstration level. Uh, if one was maybe one of those little plug-in vacuums for your car, uh, and then five was maybe a black hole. Okay. Yeah, I would put this one at maybe a one and a half, maybe like a Roomba. A Roomba. Yeah, a Roomba. <laughs> so, uh, this Nerd. is a very easy one. This is a very easy demonstration. Uh, the only things you have to worry about really as far as safety-wise with this first demonstration uh, is the way you're holding the potato. Because yeah. uh, we are going to be sticking the straw through the potato, so you want to make sure that your hand stays out of the way. Right. So don't hold your hand under the potato, uh, because as it goes through, your hand is next. So make sure that your hand stays kind of away yes. from that potato okay. there. Um, do you want to go ahead and go through yes, the demonstration? Tell us what's up. I would love that. Okay, okay, cool. So we are going on Kara QE, um, and we are going to be talking about air pressure using a straw, a plastic straw, and a potato. So um, again, we're with straws. We're always trying to um, think about recycling um, paper straws. A paper straw would not work, so we do need plastic. But maybe if you still have some and you use one, and um, you take a drink, you um, are finished with it, then maybe we can do some science with the potato and your straw. So we have these two things and if you just have your plastic straw and we're going to try to spear this through the potato when you aim for it when you try to do this it will not go through it's just a little bit too flimsy the plastic's a little bit too you know if you do actually catch it in the right area sometimes you can go in a little bit of ways um, just because it's a little bit sharper on the ends um, but this we are going to add some air pressure into it so what I'm going to do very very easily I'm just gonna cap the top of it with okay. my thumb so that is gonna capture the air pressure inside making the straw much more rigid so again when you're holding the potato we want to make sure that when you try to spear the straw through it you do not hit your hand in any way so be careful about that so we're gonna hold the potato on the end I'm capping the top of the straw and we're going to Spear oh, yeah. through the potato. Nice. So air pressure science. science I love yeah. it. Just one of the science experiments that we do here at the National Museum of Nuclear Science and History. But yeah, it's just a little bit of fun with a potato and a straw. So this is showing. This one here shows us about air pressure uh, and that buildup of pressure inside that straw. How that pressure does not the air in there doesn't want to compress. It doesn't want right. to smush. So what we're going to do now uh, is we're going to do a demonstration with a trash bag uh, showing about a vacuum on the inside and the pressure on the outside. All Good right, you times. ready? I am so ready. Here we go. Okay. So for this demonstration, what we're gonna do is we're gonna have Jennifer put me in a trash bag. This is gonna demonstrate what happens when you remove, when you create a vacuum on the inside of that trash bag, all that air pressure that's around you is now pressing in uh, and it's, <clears throat> It's a fun little one. It's so, a good time. Yeah, so let's see. <laughs> so we're going to go ahead and get to it. So for this part, you are going to need a shop vac. You are going to need a Large, gigantic trash very, bag. Very, very big. Okay. Uh, and you're going to need a wiffle ball. Uh, the wiffle ball, what we've done is we cut a little hole in it so that it fits nicely over this. Uh, and that's just so your clothes and fingers and things like that don't end up caught in that vacuum. Okay, okay. I'm going to get into the trash bag. Thanks, Jennifer. You're welcome. Uh, I'm going to do uh, one quick hop. <laughs> there you go. Uh, now, what's important to note, I am not putting this trash bag over my face, nope. okay? So, uh, since we are talking about air, air is something we need to breathe and live and all those wonderful things. So, yes. I'm not going to cover my face, but I am going to come up to here. What we're going to do now uh, is, if you wouldn't mind handing me the hose on the shop vac, we're going to put that hose into this bag with me. So, when I put this in, we're going to create a vacuum inside the bag. I'm going to put this over my shoulder. I'm going to put one hand on the ball, one hand on the hose. Okay. Okay. And now that it's over my shoulder, are you, let's see, 
if you could just kind of tighten it up around the top to where we get a pretty good seal around my shoulders there. There you go. Uh, and so now we've got a seal around my shoulders. I'm in the bag. All of the pressure on the inside of the bag right now is the same as the pressure on the outside of the bag. But when we take the pressure out of the inside of the bag, uh -huh. go for I'm, it. I'm too excited to do oh, this. Oh, okay, yes, <laughs> yeah. So when we take the pressure out of the inside of the bag, all of a sudden we're going to see that pressure that is all around us squishing in on me uh, and, and really putting me in a tight place. So now I'm a shrink wrapped version of myself uh, inside this bag here. So uh, as long as that vacuum is on, I, I'm trying, I can't move my fingers, I can't move my hands. I am trapped in here. All right, so go ahead and shut that off. And as the pressure equalizes, as the pressure on the inside of the bag becomes closer to the pressure on the outside of the bag, it comes off no problem. So when you're doing this one, remember not over your face. Uh, and this is a fun one if you know if you can find these big old trash bags. Uh, this is a fun one to do with your friends and things like that. Always make sure that you have a parent around yes. uh, and that they're there to help you out and maybe turn on the shop vac and laugh at you when you're in the trash bag. And then, uh, Jennifer, then you could take out the trash. Take out the trash. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> All right. So we hope you liked this demonstration. Yes. I know <clears throat> it sucked, but we hope you enjoyed this one. <laughs> And if you did, uh, make sure that you like and subscribe. Yes. And if you have something that you'd like us to do or, or you want to know a little bit more science about, put it in the comments. We'd love to do yeah. some of your demonstrations. Thank you. Thank you.